In this video, I wanted to cover my Geo's Reef 612 um, calcium reactor. I really love this calcium reactor. It is total overkill for this tank, but I really like how I can upgrade to a 200 to 300 gallon system in the future if I choose. Um, one of the things that I really like about a calcium reactor as opposed to a dosing setup, uh, two part via either, you know, like ESV or um, or maybe even going with something like BRS, you know, uh, supplements. The thing about it is I really like how I'm basically breaking down coral skeleton and then giving it back to the tank. So there's all kinds of things that we, that we don't really know about that, um, you know, that the, that the two part doesn't really provide for. And I really like adding back natural, um, organics or natural, natural supplements to the tank. And so the thing, the thing with it is it's total overkill. You really don't need a, a calcium reactor set up on anything less than uh, 200 gallons. It's, um, you know, the setup cost you, over, over the course of however long it would be, you're just never gonna make that money back. However, I, I am doing it because of the, the added benefit of, the, of the, the trace elements that I wouldn't get with a two-part dosing. Um, one of the things that really sucks about having it on a smaller system is the fact that I am only running about one bubble or one, not one bubble, one drop of effluent every four to five seconds. So it's very slow. And because of that, um, I don't know if you can see it right here. I have to have a vertex right up there. I have to have a vertex needle wheel precision needle wheel to control the flow. Um, I was using just a standard uh, standard valve that, that Geo's Reef gave me and it was getting clogged all the time. So what I did was I implement a, uh, this is kind of like a man manifold off the, off the frag line and it's basically just feeding a quarter inch to, it's feeding a quarter inch line to this on the incoming water so it doesn't get clogged as easily as it as going on the outside and it's going to the 3 8 inch um, outside diameter tubing which feeds the the geos reef reactor i'm using a carbon doser over here i'm using a carbon doser um, co2 regulator and i really like it it doesn't run very often i've got it i've got it backed up with the apex monitoring system with the with the probe and it doesn't run very often. It's um, it's on the max setting as far as as far as the seconds per bubble. It's on 10. It's down to about four or four and a half five um, psi on the output. Very low. Uh, comes on maybe maybe a couple times a day if that, and then it turns off. So I mean the carp the CO2 that's in there will last almost for almost a year or maybe more. 